Yeah, it's been a it's been a good season. It's been an interesting one. We've had a lot of uh, celebrities and guests in the car, and uh, I've had a lot of fun. It, uh, it's been good, and I enjoy it. It's sad that it's the last one of the of the year, but I, I'm looking forward to a, a good event with Peter. Now, I think this morning, first thing when I saw it was a little bit of a wow experience for me seeing all these monsters standing around here and obviously approaching the Red Line Motorsport Adventure team this side and see the Nissan Navara was quite phenomenal. See all the friendly faces and everybody know one another. It's like a close community. Well, I'm a little bit nervous for my first time, but otherwise I've done some proper studying and some summarizing the route and so on. I'm quite confident about it. Um, I think Terence is a good master to show you things and he's also there to guide me through the whole process. Uh, but yeah, still excited, eh? At this Copco Gold 400, is always a, it's really a technical route. So it's technical and rocky, you need to look off the car. So you need to find that uh, sweet spot between you know, not going too fast and getting punches and, and accidents, but not going too slow to lose uh, a lot of time. So uh, there'll be a lot of strategy that's involved and, and a lot of car management as such, but uh, that's half the challenge that we enjoy. First time, I think it went quite well. A bit nervous in the beginning, but I um, was quite confident. And um, according to my driver, also he was quite impressed with what I delivered. For Peter's first time out, he was very impressive. He was in the book for a majority of the time. So uh, the further we went, the more confident we got as a team. The durability of everything and just the maintenance, how the vehicle handle all these rough terrains and you know shift from one side to the other side, it's incredible. <laughs> Yeah, looking forward to today, a little bit nervous, long one today, about 150 the first loop, so a total of 302 odd kilometers. For the morning uh, session this morning, we, we're going to take it uh, uh, pretty conservatively just to see how bad the terrain will be because it's about 50 to 60 kilometers we wouldn't have done yesterday. And then as we get into loop two, we can kind of have a look as the route opens up a bit about how much more we need to push. But I think the most important thing is that uh, we've got Peter here as a Nissan competition winner and we want to bring him home. We want to get him a finish. And uh, where the, I think the finishing ratio is going to be around 40%, uh, I'd like us to be one of those. Found it amazing, you know. We went, me and Terence, we found one another. We gelled like partners, been for years, and yeah, we just made it happen. Eh? We overcame all the obstacles. I think we got a, a better time by nine minutes or so. I did thoroughly enjoy myself. Thank you very much. No, it's um, actually more than I expected. Uh, the hospitality of the crew here as well is phenomenal. You can't describe it to anybody. But Marcel, I just want to say thank you to Nissan SA as well as Redline Motorsport. Um, thank you for the awesome opportunity to make one in a lifetime dream, dream come true for me. I never expected in my whole life that I'll be able to sit in one of those monster vehicles and drive with the legend Terence Mars.